This is a test rig for a PMW 3901. It's what's called an optical flow sensor, commonly used in drones to determine movement of the drone over the ground. Now, in this case, I've mounted the sensor on a frame made from plastic, actually a white cutting board made out of nylon. And its camera is looking down through a 5 centimeter hole that I've cut in the plastic onto a bit of fabric. This hole is in what will be the lower board of the robot, 30 millimeters above the ground, which is the distance from the board to the ground when mounted on these mechanum wheels. The PMW 3901 sensor is actually only 6 millimeters square. You can see it between these two little white LEDs on the carrier board. I've connected the sensor to a Raspberry Pi 0W along with this 5x5 RGB LED display which I've programmed to indicate a positive or negative movement. So if we consider this the front of the robot, if I move the robot to the right or starboard, the LED turns green. If I move the robot to the left or port, the robot sensor turns red. If I move the robot forward, there's cyan and aft or back yellow. And of course any combination of these I get a suitable display. Now the sensor itself is sending X and Y values which are quite precise so if I know that the sensor is 90 millimeters above the ground I can get a pretty good idea of how far the robot has moved and I'm planning to use that information to supplement the rotation count I'm getting from the motor encoders. In the case of a mechanum wheeled robot, because the wheels don't interact with the ground in the same way as traditional wheels, I may have to use this method as the primary means of my odometry measurement. Odometry is just a fancy word that means using the cumulative data about the rotation of the wheels to determine the location of the robot at any given time. Now, this experiment won't really tell me if the sensor is accurate enough to use for a ground-based robot's odometry, but I've at least proven that the sensor can operate at a close proximity to the ground looking through a hole, which means I can at least design the robot based around these test results. So, I guess for now I can consider this test a success.